Oh my god. Oh no! What the hell are y'all making us watch? Hey, Petty Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We're back, and we are so excited to be starting a reaction series to Santa Clarita Diet. Yes, the time has finally oh, come. Y'all, we ran a TV show reaction bracket on YouTube, and you voted for Santa Clarita Diet. It was a tiny, tiny margin that Santa Clarita Diet won yes. by, but we were hoping that's what would win. We really were. I'm going to just tell you the truth up front. I have watched Santa Clarita Diet season one. You've never seen it. I never wanted him it. to watch it so bad but he didn't think it would be his vibe. He doesn't love, yeah. you know. I don't really like body horror. At the time like I don't know. I was busy with work all the time and stuff. Like, I just yeah. had a lot going on. Well, I actually watched it when the week it got cancelled. Oh. So, I didn't watch the rest of it because I was like well oh. if it's cancelled and people were complaining that it didn't get like a wrap up I was like well I'm just not going to finish it yeah. but now we're here to finish it and you're going to start it I'm so excited I'm because so excited. I wanted him to watch this so bad so thank you for voting for Santa Clarita Diet it's like you know it's fun it's like summery but also spooky so it's like a transitional reaction here on the exactly channel exactly what we need right Our now Halloween spooky content is coming we're just so excited for the Drew Barrymore Timothy Oliphant Liv Houston, Skylar Gazondo oh my of it God. all. Literally the all-star oh cast of it God. all. And like I wouldn't have appreciated this cast back when you oh, watched no. it a few yeah. years ago. Like so. now feels like the right time for me because I literally worship these people. Mm -hmm. And I just know that like I'm like, okay, now this is my vibe. It wasn't my vibe then, but it is now. Yeah. Except I still hate body horror and I'm scared. It's not too bad. It's just the the finger on the poster. I think that's why I didn't want to watch it. There's a, or one of the pr promotional images. There's like a finger. <laughs> Now, if you want to watch our full-length reactions to Santa Clarita Diet Season 1, you can do so on Patreon in the $5 tier. We are so excited to be launching our Patreon and giving you all the content that you deserve, honestly. Yes, it is popping over there at the Petty Pumpkin Patch over on Patreon. We love the alliteration and we love you, so come plant your seed in the patch. <laughs> I am starved to watch <laughs> <No>. this. <laughs> Wait, also, just quickly, I feel like I need to shout out my shirt. For those of you who haven't seen Yellow Jackets, go watch Yellow Jackets. Oh but um, everyone else, it's uh, Shauna Shipman doing her little butcher thing. And it says, who's hungry? Oh, we're all hungry, mama. Yes. Felt appropriate for the show. And I'm ready to eat. <laughs> no, <laughs> not dinner already. Oh, honey, mama is serving. <laughs> Oh my god. Daddy's up. Imagine waking up next to him. And her for that matter. Look at her. I'm sorry, babe. I'm just not really a pound one out kind of gal. I know. And that's oh, great. Girl. We might try humping like that rescue dog did to that little girl at the right age. Let's try it out. Jennifer Lawrence chopped off her hair again. <gasps> Everybody hates it like that, but she doesn't care. Of course She's not. so bold. And it looked great. I, I was bold. Am I bold? Honey, that blouse really isn't bold. I'd like to be 20% bolder. It's cute though. No more. I need a car. Oh my god. We're anymore without a car. We're in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Yeah. I'm gonna buy a new car. Liv like has me living. I like the Range Rover. Why don't you love mom enough to buy her a Range Rover? Yeah. And well, buy us one while you're at it. What is it? Are you alright? Yeah, I just have this like sharp. Yeah. Sit down. He's so kind and gentle. Mom I'm fine. See? All better. Are you sure? You scared me. Yeah, me too. Life is short. You're not getting the car. <laughs> Joel. Dan. Noticed a uh, light on in your den all night. Oh, okay. Someone's gonna get in trouble. Not the HOA. Yeah, oh, brain, sorry. Oh. Not the cop, baby. Damn. LA Sheriff's Department, all the way. Dickless over there is a cop. Morning, puss. Another Dickless. damn Ew. law enforcement. I do Good not day, like day. this man. Be safe. That is Suck a me, whole brain. fucking man right there. Oh my god. If that's the cop in my neighborhood, baby, come on over. Give everything you need. Yes, no. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so baby boy. You look so pretty today. Girl. Today? I you. You're the queen of a spank bank. Oh no. Hey. Hey. 
Some of us girls are going out tonight, drinking, dancing, <laughs> etc. You gonna come? Oh my no, god, I love I her. Um, tonight. But thank you. We're not banging dudes. Why not? At least that's what we tell our husbands. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh my god. They're realtors. This is truly daddy. Daddy. Da daddy father. Like, daddy Ghostface. everything he does is just very paternal. Yeah. <laughs> Sheila Ammon, say hello to Gary West. Hi, Gary. Uh, welcome aboard. Sheila works with her husband. She's yeah. a pretty one. A <laughs> cute husband. You oh, two gonna sell the Peterson house today? We're gonna try, Carl. None of this try bullshit. Do it! What the fuck oh, are you doing? Nothing at me. The How many houses has he sold this year? Lots of light and brand new textured plush carpeting. All headed in the same direction. Do you know what my favorite thing about the upstairs is? The laundry chute. It's amazing. Oh my god. No! This is not... Oh my god, it's just so early into the show. And we're already wow. doing this. I'm the fucking... Clean carpet. Honestly, giving Anna Camp a run for her money. <laughs> you know, all she needs is a little ascot, and she's Everyone giving that same. Um, I'm just yes. gonna go use the restroom really quickly. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Okay, other bedrooms. Yes, this way. Oh. <laughs> I did not like that. Oh, sweetie. They're not gonna wanna live there after that. Sheila? <gasps> oh my god. What the fuck did she eat for lunch? Oh my god. Why didn't she eat? Oh. Sheila? Sheila? I cannot believe this. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. He's such a good fucking husband. Sheila? Did we get the offer? <gasps> oh, what the fuck? I'm okay. I just threw up. Well, your guts, girl. Deal with your guts. And that came out of me. <gasps> <laughs> what the hell? I think it's an organ. He's so sweet to be lounging in her vomit. He literally held her, picked her up, sitting in it, touching stuff. Like, that is a real fucking man. I want to get you looked at. I've been here over three hours. I just want to go home, get out of these clothes, and take a bath. Feel like a bus station shit in my mouth. And you don't think you should see someone for that? She's giving Reagan. Truly. Oh. Gary! <gasps> She's feeling some this type of way. Gary, the new realtor I was telling you about. So, how are you feeling? I heard about your afternoon. Yeah. She showed up with flowers? Yeah. With her husband standing right there? We didn't invite you in, but <gasps> don't even think about it. But listen, Joel, can I talk to you a moment? I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Thanks for the flowers, Gary. And all your help. She is too optimistic, girl. She's had a complete mood shift. Yeah. That was a crazy amount of vomit. Are you a doctor here? No. <laughs> Neither am I. Let's not dishonor that profession, which takes eight years of intense training by thinking <laughs> we can give medical opinions, okay? Eat him up, Just please. The homeowners yeah. came In all the ways. Like what they saw. So they don't want to work with you anymore. They'll be working with me now. I mean, it's kind of understandable. It is. She can't it help is. it. It is. Like, I think I would see it that way, but I understand their POV. I can't feel my heartbeat. What? My heart, I can't feel it. So she did die. Well, that's why he was freaking out. He couldn't feel her pulse. Well, that's what I thought, but... Is he just gonna be, like, hot and all these flannels this whole oh, time? Oh, I pray. I'm obsessed. And look at that. I love your hair. Back is arched, baby. Yeah, she's, uh... <gasps> oh my god. Girl... Yeah. Like Honestly, that. I am really happy for her. Isn't it so wild? We're seeing a ghost face and like the queen of the Spring. first ghost face. Well, not not technically the first victim of ghost face, but the first victim we saw of ghost face. Right. And then a future ghost face. Oh my god! Iconic. My manager noticed that you've been staring at the stethoscopes for like a really long time. There's something happening with my wife. It's not just a physical thing. She's acting different. <laughs> She doesn't give a fuck. No. Bro. It doesn't make sense. My jaw still kind of hurts. <gasps> then stop talking. <laughs> oh my god. This is the luckiest woman alive, I have to say oh, it. Truly. I have to say it. I don't hear anything. <gasps> yeah, I know, right? And there's something else. But no one freak out because I feel fine. Look. Oh, no blood. Liv knows all about the hand no cutting sacrifices. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh! Oh shit. I can cook that meat for you, sweetheart. 
I'm fine. Oh, I literally <laughs> nibbling on it. Look, I know things are very wrong, but I feel good. I can't go to a hospital where they're gonna put me in a tube and prick me and poke me. They might never let me come home again. They're gonna literally take that her to a lab and yeah, fucking, fucking dead. open yeah. her up and see what's inside, which is nothing, apparently. Whatever this is, we need to talk to someone. I know someone. Who? A creeper. What's <laughs> a creeper? Kind of a nerd. Who specializes in disturbing, weird, or gruesome shit? Yeah. Oh my God! Have you noticed any deteriorating flesh? No. Blackening of the skin. Digits, other pieces falling off. No. Um. Have you eaten any? No. Oh, but he but has. I may have thrown up an <laughs> organ. We just want to know what's going on. She is dead. <laughs> and also undead. What right. the fuck? It makes perfect oh, sense to me. What are you? She's a. Zombie? I don't like that word. I think it's inherently negative. I don't like it either. <laughs> well, let's not use it. Oh, I man. love him. I feel the opposite. Totally alive. She's and she looks glowing. better than ever. She's glowing. Super. How could this happen? <laughs> We're realtors. Most new viruses come from animals, like monkeys or bats. Anything else we should know? Not that we know anything. Mm -hmm. Always keep her fed. I'm pretty sure we don't want to find out what happens when she's hungry. And <laughs> she starts to show more I have a feeling we're like going to find out. <laughs> what a beautiful afternoon. We should do something. Let's buy a Range Rover. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no. Ooh. Look what I found. Oh, girly. Don't need a snail. It's not oh. time for escargot. Okay. Shell and all. She said prices are too expensive for France. Oh, what are you all doing here? What are you all doing here? We were just talking to Eric. Eric, why? We found a football in our backyard. Is that his son? He is. Eric doesn't own a football or anything else that would make him come outside. Then, uh... Why is he such a dickhead? Run. Don't shoot! Oh, shit. That is exactly what we don't want. Now Dan is suspicious. Eric won't say anything. How do you know? Because Eric hates his stepdad. That's sad. Mm. Maybe we should adopt Eric. <laughs> Please. Please. I'm hungry. And there's no hamburger left. Maybe a hot dog. But, you know, maybe Seriously, I'd be scared if I was him. All right. Don't know what she's gonna be doing with that be, mouth. She'll be eating the hot dog real quick. <laughs> oh my god, they fucking did it. <laughs> Iconic. Love that for them. Love a mother bonding Living moment. Living life on the edge. Yes. I got organic. I don't know if that's still important. Oh, what happened to your hair? <laughs> Needs some frizzies. Oh, yes. From now on, always include me in everything. She's truly living. Yes. She's so. Drew's just such a good actress, too. Like, you feel the change. Oh, he's stalking. He's literally stalking. Are you two gonna bone? Lisa! We decided we shouldn't deny ourselves things, and boning is a thing. She's really obsessed with boning. You know? yeah. Do your thing, girl. I'm sure that Kate Goslin hair attracts a lot of men <laughs> for her to um, be banging, so. Oh, yes. Go get your girl. Go go dance, bro. Sheila, let's go home. You bought a car and now you're grinding on the neighbors and this is not who you are. Maybe it's who I've always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe Indeed. it's not who you are. Honey, is there a problem? <gasps> oh, I can't be doing this sure, with upset, him. But if she let us want to go, we <gasps> shut up, Gary. Maybe you should go. <laughs> he is so bold. Wow. And for what? I'm just going to call this a draw and go home. Have fun. She needs to go after him. Do not stay here with him. He would be cute if he weren't such a creep. It's not gonna work. How about this? Girl, <gasps> don't fall for it. Oh. Oh my. He's just a, you know, a big hunk of man, so just, you know. Wow. When you got this to wake up to, Truly. there's only one choice. Sheila? Wow. Where is she? Do you know which one of these has a knob without any slack? No, does it matter? It does. I thought so. I really did. Shouldn't care about <laughs> She's really funny. Not. This one's cheaper. Maybe I don't want to have fun. Have a That's fancy car. Important. Dance yeah. like a sex lunatic. <gasps> hmm? He is having a breakdown in the middle of the dollar mart, and Sheila needs to come get his answer. ass. You're missing the point, Ramona. I don't oh. want to dance. We I want you to keep dancing. Not like that. Gary. 
Yeah, I cannot. I, I can't. I saw your car in the driveway, sir. So. What's up? I just wanted to make sure you were all right. Because She's I didn't fine. want to have sex with you last night. <laughs> I had a lot on my mind. I ended up walking around all night, checked out a dumpster behind Chili's. They throw away a lot of raw meat. <gasps> Whoa. I'm probably starting. I don't think so. Oh, no. I am. I feel like whatever I say is just going to mean you push harder against my vagina. <gasps> and can she, like, Listen, yeah. Gary. We have some fun. You said you're all about fun. And I don't say anything to your lame husband. Or we don't. And I tell him we screwed four times last night in my beamer. Why would she agree to that? Your unwillingness to take no for an answer has made me feel sexy and desirable. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, no. I mean, yes. Yes, mother, but... I know. Weirdest foreplay ever. <laughs> What the hell are y'all making us watch? <gasps> Talk about sucking him off. Girl, oh, yep, she's just going for it. The yellow jacket style. Mm -hmm. Like a rotisserie chicken. Sheila, we need to talk. In the backyard. Sheila! Yeah. Oh, Joel. I really want to make this work. <laughs> Fucking hell. I I just wow. You know, hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> I mean I you know, I'm glad she felt empowered. I mm -hmm. love that for her. Mm -hmm. Um he I mean, needed he to was, die. He was pushing too far. It, I mean, he had like so many chances to not get his fingers eaten and his intestines chewed out of his tummy, but yeah. he didn't take the chances to get away. I'm proud of her. I, I love that for her. <sighs> She's like a like a vigilante or something. Like yeah. it's, you know, someone that is taking care of the people who don't need to be on the streets. Yep. So, good for her. She's an American hero. On her vigilante shit again. That's correct. We're ready for more. Episode 2 is called We Can't Kill People. <laughs> Something tells me they're going to. Or language and violence. That needs to be like a like a beat. Gore language. It's like a pop song, like you know the vibe. This seems like Guess a really solid plan. She and Ben are selling their home. It's a beautiful property. <laughs> Joel, sweetheart. He's a little preoccupied. That'd be great, honey. We can't be realtors if we don't have listings. But you can be a realtor if you don't have a heartbeat, apparently. That's right. Oh my god. <gasps> In a fucking storage bin. It's like what you put your fucking Christmas decorations in on December 26th. Shit, someone's coming. Crap! Hurry, let's get this on the ground. Oh my god. <gasps> Bro. <gasps> Ew, it looks like little meatballs. Well, is this her fam? We say we came across this murder site, and we're just cleaning it up. <gasps> Who cleans up murder sites? I don't know, we're Mormons. Mormons don't clean up murder sites. Mormons are helpful. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. I knew it was them. Abby, what are you doing here? Well, I saw the broken toaster in the yard, and there was blood on the lawn, and no one was home, and I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. So she came to me for help. Oh my god, did you kill someone? No! Jesus! We for a drive. They should have texted yeah. her and been like, I, we're going out, be oh, back later. Life. He was not a good man, Abby. He didn't listen to my words. Do you know, Gary? Exactly. Only ate some of him? He weighed like 180 pounds. Ah, the undead equivalent of overordering. Honey, oh. I did not want to get you or your dad involved in this. Your mom is a monster. And if you want me to go away, I will. No. No one's going anywhere. Oh my God. Someone's gotta get to work. Sorry, the less time spent at a crime scene, the better. Yeah. yeah. What do you know about it? You didn't eat his keys, did you? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. That guy was a fucking terrible person, yeah. so let's fuck him up. Toss Gary's bag, drive his car to Burbank, and leave it at the airport. This is giving Sean a shipment. Genius. And, and Jeff. G Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love a husband wife, you know, cover up the murder duo. Meet me halfway. At least control some of your impulses. I swear I did not have sex with Gary. I believe you. But I did eat his balls. 
Well, one example. I would be disappointed if she didn't. Is, what I meant was it would be good for everyone if from now on you only ate chicken or beef. Oh, yeah. Okay, totally agree. And we need to return the Range Rover. I don't think we do. Sheila. Fine. I should have eaten both of his balls. <laughs> I didn't talk yeah. about Gary's balls anymore. They were tiny anyway. <laughs> what? I thought you'd like that. Be <laughs> there. They really are mom and dad. I feel such a connection to them already. Tell your dad to dilute it three to one or he'll kill us long. Intense night, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Oh, she just made his whole life. That little boop, it booped him, okay? Just call him Betty, bitch. <laughs> He's nosy. He's gonna be without a nose before too long if he keeps it up. Or a ball, apparently. He's mad because he can't find Gary because he's, you know, buried, half eaten in the desert without a lid, which I did find, by the way. I found something too. Not as exciting as a lid without a box, but maybe more useful. There's a virologist at City College who specializes in rare viruses. I'm gonna go see him. But I really don't think that he should do that. No, the more you're well, Googling, the worse it is for him. That couple is going back to the house today and Carl said he wants us to do it. So just eat the competition. Like I'm gonna get dressed and go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You're going to see the virus guy. Don't you trust me? Well, you did dismantle a man and buy a Range Rover yesterday. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the Range Rover. Which we have to return. It can't be returned. <laughs> State law. As California. if she didn't know that when she yes, bought it. I love you, Joel. And thank you for being my husband. I love you too, Sheila. We're gonna figure this out. Yeah, but later. Cause right now, I wanna hump like a rescue dog at a ride. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, porn stars. Oh. Oh. Dan's in the backyard looking at our grass. Oh, oh my god. Wouldn't it be a shame if but he disappeared like, too? Why is he back there? Like, because he's a nosy hey, fuck. Notice you were spraying your lawn in the middle of the night. What kind of chemical? We have ants. Ants? Yeah, you know. Is that what they do? Yeah. And you needed a spray for them at 2.45 in the morning? What's going on? Apparently Dan saw us out of here last night was wondering what we're doing. How about it's none of your fucking business, Dan? Maybe that's what you were doing. Yes! <laughs> no one's ever probably talked to him like that in his life. I love it. You want to stay on top of an ant problem, Joel. It could overwhelm you. He's gonna have to be taken care of sooner rather than later because he can't mind his own fucking business. Excuse me, do you know where I might find Dr. Hezmeti's office? What do you need him for? I just have a few questions. Why are people so nosy? Fine. I'm fucking with you, man. No one tells me anything. So we're cool. Sir. End of the hall, make a left, then a right. Thank Don't you. you have important uh, shit to be doing? Like transporting dead bodies. Why are you heckling like random fucking people in the hallway? Come in. Dr. Hasmedi. I'm Joel. I just have a few questions about something that's happening to a friend that I'm wondering if might be a virus and where I might go for help. Oh my god. Oh god. I want to know what this actually was that she was eating. Like, probably gummy, right? <gasps> so, no chicken? Well, it's like. She likes beef. Well, no, it's American processed meat. So it's oh, like, she wants it natural. Well, it's like pumped full of chemicals and toxins and stuff. Oh, okay. So, the person's blood is dry. Kind of a tar like substance. Are. So Great movie. Lydia's okay. impact. It's like the mm. fucking symbiote in Spider-Man 3 directed by Sam Raimi. That's all he has to say. Do you mind if I ask a colleague to join us? If you think that'll help. Great. Too many people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He should not be telling anyone. Hey, wait, why aren't you in class? Uh, after last night, school just seems so trivial. I Truly. <laughs> listen to Mrs. Slothman talk about the Punic Wars. So you're just leaving? Yeah, like the Punics did from Sicily. Mm. Period. Ha, huh, I was listening. Hang on, I'll come with you. Oh, you better go. Mm -hmm. I know a place we can go. Is Abby the coolest person I know? Yes. Do you think it's an organ? Do you think it's an organ? Girl. It might be. What do you think it means? Like what? What do you think it means? I don't know. <laughs> Sweetie, you're the doctor. Yes. That's why he came to ask you. I'd like you to come with me to the fifth floor. So we figure out what this is and who it came from, I think it'd be best for you to stay with us. <gasps> you're a psychiatrist? Yes. But she's... Excellent. He honestly missed out on a huge scientific discovery. Hey, Could have been his big the break the to the Nobel Prize. What's up? Carl they think called he's and the buyers want to come now. Now? What did you tell him? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta stop saying I love her. That. She's my new role model. Did you eat today? I wasn't hungry. And I'm already at the listing. He's gonna eat the next Ew, person. I'm not an idiot. Yep. 
I think you should eat something. You know how you get. I can't eat meat anymore. I've been trying all morning and it repulses me since I've had Gary. <gasps> Well, we can't start killing people. We're getting life back to normal and killing people isn't normal, sweetheart. I know. <laughs> He's so like casual yeah. about it. <laughs> Once I've tasted human flesh, I can't go back. So fucking yellow jackets coated. I literally okay, just truly. Liv Houston definitely has a type, a type of project they like to appear in. You can only eat yesterday. Thank you, food police. You eat every day. Them. Oh my god. Let me take the lead. Put Let's the meat up, up please. Pie. Just not sure holding back is my thing anymore. It's not, Queen. Are you feeling okay? Totally. She's great. We're gonna take such good care of you. You remember the I mean, beautiful mean it master too. bedroom with south facing windows and impossible. Is this the same house? Plush carpeting. Mm, I love this room. Yeah. Then you should buy it. <laughs> Leslie, Bill. What are you doing? This is your fourth time here. I mean, come on. Look, here's the deal with life. Mm -hmm. All right, no matter how much we want to control it, we can't always know where it's going to take us. Let's look at the kitchen. Everyone is afraid of change. She's a no-nonsense guy. life is screaming, this is your new truth, mm -hmm. you need to accept it. Get this woman on a stage with a Britney okay, Spears I'm mic and a PowerPoint presentation. Think. Life is telling us our truth, but we might not have enough information yet. It's important to explore all the options and exhaust every possibility <laughs> before doing something crazy. Well, they've been considering it for so long now, it is time to make a decision. But of course, you should buy this house. Yeah, bro. <laughs> is that a rooster? Comforting, like being on a farm. Actually, huh? loud. Especially first thing in the morning. Yeah. Maybe you should go next door, see what that's about. Check out that very live bird. <gasps> I'll do that because I too would like to find a simple solution to this problem. Girl. The owners have had a few offers fall through. <gasps> oh. oh my Girl. god. <laughs> she is rabid. I'm taking you to the kitchen, and I mean it this time. <laughs> This place is great. You're gonna really like it here. Hey, Bunchin. 30 seconds, Eric. We can't read anything for more than 30 seconds without buying it. This is Abby. He has a master's in art history and lives with his mom, so he's pretty angry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So how are you doing? Why does everyone keep asking me that? Well, I don't know why other people do, but I'm asking because you saw your mom and dad scrape a half-eaten dead guy into a grave. Mom and dad want our lives to go back to normal, so I guess that's what's happening. That's so what you say, but you just said that you've never skipped school before, Here's and here you are, so well, that's not normal, divorced, Abby. My mom said everything would be the same, but nothing was. My dad left town, and my mom married a horrible dickwad shithead asshole who thinks I'm too critical. I'm so glad that we're all on the same page about this. Mm -hmm. Mom. Oh my god. That's not a good one. It looks like my That's kind of comic, okay? One. I love I that. Just 30 seconds. What does it matter, Bunchin? Here, She's gonna fucking one. buy it, bro. Oh, she clearly is interested. Hey, why don't we go to the beach, huh? 30 seconds, Eric's friend. Abby. I'll buy it. No, I haven't decided if I want it yet. 30 <gasps> seconds. Why is that so hard for <laughs> Maybe I just don't feel like following all the rules today. Okay, Bunchen? <laughs> oh my god, she said this is my home now, baby. I'm the queen. We did it. We got an offer. We got an offer. And you ate, right? And it's a good offer, too. Yeah, it's great. And you ate, right? <laughs> we should jump up and down. <laughs> Maybe make it our new thing whenever we get an offer. We sold a house. And we can raise chickens or maybe a lamb if we don't get emotionally attached. <laughs> what? I couldn't eat the rooster. Yeah. But I jumped. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted you to be happy even for a minute. Get she doesn't want animals. Could. Yeah, especially a Again, feathered bird. No. We can't kill people, Sheila. I know. Come with me. Where? I'm taking you to dinner. He's so sweet. Oh my god. But doesn't she want like something fresh and alive? As long as it hasn't been embalmed. I guess you're right. Yeah? I'm just gonna give you a hundred dollars, and that's just for opening the door. We need a body. You're gonna fuck it? <gasps> yes. No! You're gonna fuck it. All night long. So? Why is he smiling? We'd want to take it with us. <gasps> he's a creep. We're shy. Well, you know, it's gonna cost extra because he's two of you. Just tell us how much. Five grand. 
cash. Five grand, Jesus. You got an expensive hobby lover, boy. He was smiling because he's ready to extort. Another $400. And a Starbucks card. <laughs> What they can do is take the body and then eat him and get their money. Mmm, that's a good idea. <gasps> Yum. Mm. Ew! Mm. What? I can't. Yeah. The meat's too old or something. Yeah. Sweet. She wants that that blood it's exploding out and that. getting all over her. That smells like chemicals. Yeah. I can't. No. We gotta go to Dan's the butt, house. The butt, the butt. Sorry, I yelled at you. Do you think it could be those clams I had at Jabobo's? I don't know. She can go back there anyway. The food's never been great. I miss food. Yeah, I can't imagine this shit. I'm seriously hungry. She's, she's about to eat him. Yeah, she's gonna do something drastic if he doesn't get something in her fucking belly. We're gonna kill people, sweetheart. Oh. We're gonna kill people so you can eat them. You don't have to do it with me. It's so romantic. <laughs> it is. I'm not gonna bail on you now. And he's so hot when he says it too. I've just never seen a more compassionate man. Who do we kill? Where do we start? Oh, honey, get the list ready. Hey, sweetie. You okay, honey? What's up? Things are never going to be normal again. Man. No. Sweetie. Of course they are. Please. Just a few little changes. Like the car. We tell you we're keeping the car. <laughs> That's gonna be a great church. This little family unit is so adorable. It's so dysfunctional, and yet I I feel like I I'm part of them. Yeah. Like I'm just the fourth one, you know. <laughs> Ooh, fuck, dude. Wow. Okay, well here's where we go into episode three. We can kill people, <laughs> which is a nice little surprise. It's a twist. Yes, you know? I love that. I love how quickly he came around, too. Yeah. Like, you know, he spent a little bit trying to fight it, and then he just accepted it. Well, he truly loves her. He does. Or he's afraid of her. Probably both. Like, if he said, I'm going to leave you, she would just eat his, yeah. eat his dick, you know. Well, she's probably going to do that anyways, but it's going to hurt a lot more this time around. So, <laughs> and like, I just, they have so much chemistry. Drew has so like she just has so much charisma she does. watching her is just like you know she's a star for a reason mm -hmm. and i this is like the perfect kind of show for her because she can really showcase she's like goofy and silly but she has so much heart yeah and it's so I'm campy i love yes. how campy and silly it is mm -hmm. if it took itself too seriously i don't think it would work it would be no 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 i was thinking that at the end of the last episode how he's just so casually like we're gonna kill people like yeah. okay we're gonna do it and like it, the tone is perfect. Well, now that they can, let's see what happens. Time to munch. Their house is so quaint. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about Abby crawling in bed with us last night. She hasn't done that since she was eight. She must be having trouble coping. God, there's so many ways to mess up your children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least we I can think of a few right? big ones. I have to kill somebody today so you can eat them, sweetheart. I'm worried about Abby, too. But I can't stop thinking about the murdering and eating thing. I know right. we have to kill somebody today, but we have to be parents every day. Her She's priorities right. are mm -hmm. straight. Mm -hmm. God, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. Do you remember that dinner we had in Tuscany? On the terrace. That's like oh. a castle. I keep thinking about how good that waiter would taste right now. <laughs> Girl. Morning, wait. I'll grab something at Starbucks. Wait a second, sweetie. I know there's been a lot of changes in the last couple of days. Your father and I are here for you if you ever need to talk. I have an idea. Starting tonight, we should have regular family dinners. Tell each other what's on our mind. No judgments. Well, sounds well awesome. what is so she going to be eating? We know food? what's on what Sheila's mind. Tonight? Hmm. And plate. From now on, I'll only be eating raw chicken and beef. And we'll be having a side dish of how's that be doing. And maybe some Spanish rice. You really want to know how Abby's doing? Abby doesn't like that her parents are all up in her beat. <laughs> Your butt? No! God! My business! Oh. Okay. I feel bad lying to her, but... Wait, I'm good. just... They're having family dinner, but then she's saying she's only gonna have beef and chicken, but then she's lying to her, so then what, she's just gonna sit there and watch them eat family dinner? She's gonna be getting her food to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm okay. Catered on the side. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. From a morgue or... 
Oh, I don't no, think so. Fresh, fresh. Yeah. yeah, no, fresh people. They, they should have been in a morgue. What the fuck is going to be in her mouth? I feel bad lying to her, but yeah. I don't want Abby to know her parents are going to be killing people. Yeah, she thinks so little of us already. Honestly, she needs so, to know. Honestly, She's gonna find gonna out. We have to do it right. We can't just kill anybody. We have to kill someone who won't be missed. Someone without a family. They've someone gotta do it Dexter style. Oh yeah, like who? I guess the prototype would be a young single Hitler. They really could do something here with this. More impulse killing. It's too risky. We have to get tarps, gloves, mops, sponges, bleach to clean up the blood. All the blood. But you can't buy it. No. So much blood. Can't be seen on camera buying it. Can't put it on your credit card. Can't go get cash out of the you ATM. Don't have to go with me. I'm not sending you out to do this alone, sweetheart. We're doing it together. But I'll do the actual killing. Okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Yay. It's for the best. But I'm sure He's that so he would blessed. do it for her if she wanted him to. Yeah. It dries your skin out. What if we kill that dentist who got that woman pregnant while she was having her wisdom teeth out? <gasps> I think that was just a Lifetime movie. Oh, oh. yeah. Those are fun. What? I was like fully ready with my pitchfork. Shitty woman in my yoga class. Doesn't she have kids? Yeah, but they're oh. shitty too. I'm sorry. It's the hunger talking. Man, She's getting hangry. Speaking of Hitler, your mom called. She says she has a friend that might have a listener for us. By the way, your mom's hmm. not so easy either. And at least my mom doesn't ask me every week why we only have one kid. Could we get back to killing people? Because I feel like that's a less loaded subject. Oh God! What? what do you want, bro? You know how fast you're going? What? Cop humor. One over your head, Joel. Uh, like, or you're just wondering. not funny. What so kind of funny. spray are you using on those ants of yours? What kind of ant spray? You told me you were spraying ants in the middle of the night. Now I want to know what you were using. Why do you do this, Dan? Get him. I'm just asking my name. Get him, the bitch. Question. Ants be gone. Fuck you, ants. Yeah. Fuck you, Alex. You people need to take this more seriously. You never want a sloppy kill. You leave anything behind, it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Oh, Sheila's gonna bite your ass if you don't watch so, it. Mm -hmm. it's so and it's gonna funny. taste good. It's so funny in these TV shows because we are always rooting for the couple that is killing people. Of course. And there's all these people that are trying to solve the mystery and we're like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Them. Well, because they, they present them as like they always are assholes. Like it's never like they're good people trying to figure it out. It's like they're a piece of shit. So you're like, yeah, eat them up. Literally. Is that my favorite trope? I think it's becoming my favorite trope. It's a good like, one. The couple that has to hide that they're killing people and then we just, they're rootable though. <laughs> and then we're like, yes, yeah, slay mommy daddy. Yeah, we can kill people. Yes, we sure can and we will. And we must. They have to. They literally don't have a choice. Sheila has to live. Yeah. Like, her life is so important to me and others. Mm -hmm. She has to figure this out. Mm. That's gonna be his blood. Blood yeah. drop next time, sweetie. I'm telling you, he's onto us. Yeah. We don't Obviously. Who talks about ants with that much intensity? And killing. Maybe he's just obsessed with them. We should buy some other stuff so we don't look suspicious. Suspicious that we're cleaning our house. We also need taco shells for Taco Tuesday, which gets so messy. Right. He just confronted them like that, and now they're going to buy I all this stuff, and then they're going to take it home. Scary. We recycle, we compost, and yet I threw away 150 pounds of meat. Hey, as much as you could, honey. Even Gary wouldn't have expected you to finish him. <laughs> oh. Flash frozen seafood. <gasps> Is there any way she can yeah, preserve the bodies? I don't know. To feed you a fish. We're gonna have to work on how you talk about me. Frozen is the closest thing to fresh. Mm -hmm. What if we got a meat freezer and mm -hmm. put it in the storage unit and when we kill somebody, then we can just chisel off chunks of it when I need to eat. Yep. No more waste. Yes, except that their neighbor is literally a cop who is implying that he thinks they're killing people, so then to have literal body parts in their freezer? Uh, does he have a warrant? I wouldn't, well, I was going to say I wouldn't put it past him to go searching, well, but then if he did that, then the thing, technically though, that evidence could get thrown out. We don't know how quickly she eats. So she that's could, true. He's knocking on the door and she's just putting it down. Yeah, that's true. So. All right, Sheila, prove me wrong, baby. I can do this on my own. No, I'm going with you. I'm fine. He's such a good husband. Hey, I was thinking, uh, maybe instead of ditching again today, we could go to class as an act of rebellion. That doesn't sound so fun. No. You can't have tacos in class. Last couple of days, school's too boring. I want to do something exciting. Jamie Lewis ran across the freeway. So that's out. Oh, my stepdad has a bunch of intense riot gear in the garage. Sometimes my friend Jax and I will put on the body armor and just hit each other with sticks. <laughs> Hard. You can barely feel it, even in the balls. So. I don't want to do that. 
It's not for everyone. Hey, no six minute abs. Robot guy. Oh, it's Eric. It's okay. Hi, Sarah Elizabeth Noon. What are oh. you doing here? You don't do school? Just try and shut out. I love that for you. I once bought a ferret. I mean, if we're all talking about trying shit out, I bought a ferret. <laughs> okay, are you ditching today too? Do you want to hang out? No, no, I can't. I'm seeing Cole. Look what he got me for our three month anniversary. God, he's such a sweet boy. It's not a boy, Sarah. I mean, he's a 26 year old drug dealer <gasps> who drives a car that says, ask me about my tiny dick. Oh my God. Oh. Well, don't tell Yo, Sheila how Sarah. sweet. Don't be jealous. I just have an exciting life. He looks familiar way, to me. It is a perfect starter dick. I love you, okay. You know, you need one of those sometimes. I don't at all. I mean, I just have an undead mom, and we buried a half-eaten corpse in the desert. Your mom really raised the bar. I just wish I could think of something super fun to do. Mm. Do you like games that test your no. cog? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's okay. It's not your job to make me happy. It sounds like it was, and I just got fired. He broke up with me. He didn't even oh. care And he took my quesadilla. He drive through dumped me. Sure. Oh. You can have one of my taquitos. I don't want a taquito. <laughs> really now? That middle-aged fuckboy. Okay, not an attack on us yeah, now. I love that sweater. I love that sweater. Ugh, men are such assholes. I want to get back at him. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> we know what we could do today. Go after a drug dealer? That sounds a little dangerous. I know, right? Yeah. Let's see how sweet of a boy he really is. Well, Sheila can get her snack, and Joel can get his stash. Oh, okay, so, there you go. A two for yeah, one deal. A freezer to keep bodies in, so that's done. All we need now is someone who's evil, deserving, won't be missed, and is under 18 cubic feet. <gasps> oh. My stomach's growling. Mommy's gotta eat. Hi, Rick. Oh, Rick. Hi, Rick. <laughs> Sorry. Are there any criminals who live in this neighborhood? You know, real animals. Society's waste. People so bad that they live alone. Well, this neighborhood's pretty good. Uh, but a pedophile <laughs> just moved in down the street. Oh? What? Perfect. That's just what we need, right? I so what's this guy need him to arrest himself? About right thirty-five. Now. Battalion. Beefy. Beefy. Bro. Oh yeah. So this beefy Italian. Walking <gasps> distance. Don't worry about it. All pedophiles are on the registry. Very closely monitored. Really? Yeah. Sick bastard. Oh look, Mr. Bumblebee found my rosemary. Why is it so hard to find someone to kill? We're talking about a guy who is literally the worst person ever. Worst person ever. I'm interested. <laughs> He's 26 and has sex with underage girls. <gasps> I like the sound of that. He oh my drugs god! To kids. He sells drugs to kids. This show is. It's like it's too good. Excuse me, waiter. I'll have. <laughs> Ew, he's like scrawny and shaggy. Somewhere. Yeah, I guess when you're hungry, beggars can't be choosers now. <gasps> Ew. In their yard. That bag is so suspicious. Oh my god. Great to meet you. Why are you guys dressed like that? Repainting the kitchen. Get in here. Okay. Can I get you a water drink, Cole? I actually had a couple beers in the drive over, so I'm good. Oh, you guys yeah, place sink your teeth in, Sheila. <laughs> <gasps> what? Oh my god, it's Joan. It might be about that listing on Blue Ridge. I gotta take this. Joan, still? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. She shan't be long. Do we have to wait for her? Absolutely. Man, I had a shitty day today. This girl I've been seeing told me she's 21, turned out to be 16. So obviously, I had to break it off with her. Oh, oh my god, actually. no. Not him being not Maybe a terrible person. Talk. Oh, man, he's, oh, now man. he's he's going to want to keep him. Sometimes I can't be doing this. Then I look at you, and I think you got a great career. You got a great wife. It's like, how do I get my face in front of a house? First, he has so many yeah, hopes and dreams. And it's just... Not where I saw my life going. Jesus Christ, if I told you. Two men just shit, trying to make it work. In an asylum. My life is spiraling toward disaster and there's no way out. And the worst part is I can't even talk about it with the person I love the most because she'll blame herself and that's not what I want. Come here. Oh my God. If she kills him, I'm going to cry. You're not going to die today. <gasps> okay. I've never done a faster 180 before in my life. Where's Cole? 
I told him to go. What? He's an okay guy and a really good listener. I leave you for five fucking minutes and you bond with my dinner? But mama needs to yeah, eat. You should not have any. Oh, what is she gonna fucking do? Cause, or what is he gonna no, do? It is on him to figure it out, really. Well, I don't like that you're gonna be killing and eating people. So we both have things that bug us. Ooh. And by the way, they're legalizing my thing. All I know is that true. if you fired up a fatty with your drug dealing statutory rapist friend, I'd have eaten by now. He didn't know Sarah was 16, and he's helping his divorced sister. First of all, every creep who dated a teenager didn't know, okay? And if we were playing Family Feud in the category with reasons to sell drugs to kids, my sister's divorce wouldn't even be up on the board. <laughs> Not her making points, and now I'm like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I was just, I'm a sucker, you know? A sucker? I'm a sucker for it, for the sob story. Your stepdad may be a dick, but he has a really cool twist. Are you sure this isn't too crazy? Yeah, maybe you didn't know how old she was. What did he think she was doing every day between 8 and 3.30 at the high school where he picked her up? Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid, like, I really am. And now she's a killer. Oh, she's killing him? <gasps> I can't believe we did this. Let's get out of here. I could leave. Not yet. Oh. What? Abby. She is on him. What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Not this foggy goddess walking out of the house. Here's your sweater. It was not your job to make me happy today. But if it was, you'd be rehired. Abby's feeling herself okay. Oh yeah. I don't know how much longer I can go without food. This is a weak woman in need. Well, just take the risk. <gasps> God damn it! Shit. Follow me! Shouldn't have said that. Yeah, he did that to himself. This is his fault. Suddenly, <laughs> Sheila's supper. That's a ten thousand dollar job right there, fuck jar. Oh, that please. doesn't seem fuck stupid. jar. You blind? How could you not see me, asshole? <gasps> <gasps> How could you not see her? You your last word to me at all. You bitch. <gasps> bye bye. Shit! What did I do? I couldn't control. She literally like left onto him. It was getting twilight. We haven't touched his car, so we'll leave it here. You understand? I understand it's super sexy when you take control. <laughs> Sheila? Right, put a pen in it. Not the time, girl. And look what happens when she takes control. <laughs> no. Oh. <gasps> Ma'am, this guy really hit the spot. I just stuffed a man in a meat freezer. Cross that off my bucket list. This part right here is the human fillet. The more you know. <laughs> you own a strip club and a waste management company. Whoever did these props did oh, like a really good job. Mm -hmm. It looks Any so family real. Photos? I found pictures of a few women, but they were taken from inside a toilet, so probably not serious relationships. Uh, Maybe he won't be missed. He certainly won't. We're gonna be okay. I love you, Joel, so much. I love you, too. 23 years and you still find a way to keep life exciting. Mm. I gotta keep it fresh. We can't go home to Abby like this. Don't we have old clothes in some of those boxes? <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my They're god. They're serving. Did anything interesting happen? Not really. You? Nope. They've what gotta stop reading? lying to each other. Are you okay, Dad? No. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Even from across the room, their chemistry is fucking palpable. Oh my god. Reach out and touch it. Oh my god. That was fun. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of it all. We're getting into the bloody mess of it all. Yeah, it's a bloody good time, mm -hmm. but... What about episode four, the farting sex tourist? I literally hate that. Yeah, I knew as soon as I saw that title, you were going to hate that one. <laughs> Hopefully he gets eaten. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Or she. Whatever. If that's what they're doing. <laughs> mm. It's your last fart, bitch. Oh, God. It's great to stay up late to you. Oh, my God. The blender. Bright and early breakfast. Just going to get that body smoothie. Mm. <laughs> Well, I guess Shauna Shipman was more relevant than I even realized. Truly. 
Ew! Just think of it as berries. It's like a fruit punch smoothie. Delicious. What a beautiful day. I love walking with you guys. Everyone's mm -hmm. rooting for you. <laughs> John Legend's touring, and I want to see him four times. Oh. So do it. I can't. Every time I go out, RJ makes this face. Mommy, aren't I enough? Ugh, <sighs> this is the worst. The you gotta leave your kid once in a while, girl. You have really changed in the last few days. Mm -hmm. We used to be kind of bland. No offense. <sighs> we did stuff without you all the time. No offense. Hey, Eric has a science thing at school tonight. Will you come? <laughs> of course I'll come. And I'll bring Joel and Abby. We love Eric. I wanted to adopt Eric. But Joel said no. Seriously, what's going on with you? It's probably my new diet. I've been eating a lot of protein. Really? Oh. How many grams? All of them. The number cannot grams. be quantified. Grams. Oh, yeah. Speaking of gram, Joel's mom. That's only a matter of time, too. May I help you? Oh, spooky dookie. Come on, yes. Happy Halloween. Good morning. We live in a cultist I've shop. I've been hired to do a documentary <gasps> for the National Geographic Channel. So fucking hot. That shirt looks great Eagles on him. Yeah. I've been visiting paranormal bookstores looking for materials on outbreaks and possible remedies you'll find the zombie literature in our lifestyle section next <laughs> she to knows. the fertility crystals if you hit witch falls you've gone too far oh my god can we all please go support her shop she's taking care of everyone around here anything you can use i don't think so i'm looking for something more real less for kids i do have one thing in the back but i don't show it to a lot of people what is it <laughs> zombie porn <laughs> Oh. We saw the E.T. porn and that was close enough, honestly. Truly. Too close to home. <gasps> oh. <gasps> what? Yep, it looks familiar. <gasps> Bitch, are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, Joel. Joel and his Gail Weathers era, please, thank you. Get the tea. Nancy Joel. That's right. Hey, Rick. Hey, Joel. Can you pop your trunk for me? Those are words you never want to hear from a cop. <laughs> Come on, I want to check the cargo space. Thank They're conspiring. Oh, the two neighbors. Mm. Hi, honey. Where'd you go this morning? What's in the back? Is it a present? Is hmm. it for me? It's my white bag. Oh, oh, girl. Babe, the nasties for Sheila. Well, I don't know that Dan is bringing home anything <laughs> nasty for her. So, let's take a look. <gasps> yes. <laughs> let's. Oh my, that is roomy. <laughs> Rick, look at me. What is that? Oh, it looked like a piece of someone's scalp. Scalp, that's what I thought. I could never do this before. Why would you want to? Because it's a turn on, Rick. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm They're feeling so something. so groovy. So was a car like this set you back? It doesn't set you back, Rick. It launches you forward. Propels you. you. you should get one. She's such a salesman. Hit the deck, we gotta she should just... <gasps> what the hell, Dan? Stop. She just needs to quit her job and become a life coach. Like, Truly. you know, no more selling houses. Like, get on Instagram and start your business, And queen. she can coach their wives into letting her eat them. Oh, great idea. I love that. That's the real Santa Clarita diet. That's honestly going to solve all of their problems, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I got your hands spray. I need you to kill those little bastards before they start making their way into my yard. I found one in my kitchen this morning. Now, if I get an ant problem because you have an ant problem, you and I are going to have a problem. I feel like that's not ant spray. Just spray your yard. What do you think it is? See? I don't know. He doesn't think we killed Gary. He's just Shut obsessed up. with ants. Yeah. Shut up. So loud. Come on. I want to show you something. He bought the pictures. He's or throwing he... up a ball thing, like I did. I've been going to all these occult bookstores. The woman where I found these said they're copies of prints from 16th century Serbia. Do we need to find somebody who speaks Serbian? <laughs> I wonder what it says. Wow. It's time to change the ringtone, Sheila. We're so over it. Uh-oh. This is Abby's school. She probably hasn't been there in a week. Been there. <laughs> is anything unusual happening at home? No. Oh, good. Yeah. Very usual. The reason I'm taking this so seriously is because it's not just about Abby. She's also having a corrupting influence on Eric Bemis. Eric Bemis is a remarkable young man. So. Are you saying that Abby Hammond isn't remarkable? I'm sure. Uh, oh, no. no. Be great if Goodbye to him. Based on her biology grades, I guess Abby may not have known that either. Well, now it feels like you're calling our daughter stupid. <laughs> and us. 
Again, I'm sure that's not what he's saying. It'd be great if that's not what you're saying. Yes, he already me. knows. So they already decided. You, your daughter misses school again. She's going to be suspended. Suspended? Instead of punishing her, you should show her some compassion. Right. And you shouldn't tell me how to do my job. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe if you did it right, then all the parents wouldn't talk about you like you were a steaming pirate. Here's a solution. Let's all stop talking until I can think of what to say next. Exactly. <laughs> Like, he's right. She has to go to school, but, like, he's being such an asshole about it. Make sure she never misses school again. Good. Because if she does, Please don't say it. miss school again, no. she won't. She's going to be. Don't say it. I wouldn't say it. Suspended. Okay. God damn it. She's licking her lips. Yeah. Internally. I have a small refrigerated space I would love to introduce you to. I think you would look really good in it. Why would she fucking say that? She's crazy. We got lucky last night with that guy you killed in the parking lot. But people have seen us here. Shh, don't talk so loud. So loud. No, 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 you won't eat him. Ever. Fine, ever. Yet. Honey, the more impulsive you are, the more likely we'll get caught. And if we get caught, our lives together will be over forever. I understand I can't be impulsive and kill the wrong person like that bastard in there who didn't have any family pictures, but did have sneakers with reflective strips in his office, so may mm. run alone at night. Thank oh, she's... <laughs> she's got him fucking clocked. Looking for a midnight snack. So, we just got called into the principal's office. It all just seems so meaningless. Seriously, trigonometry. If Abby doesn't want to go to school, she shouldn't go. What? Wait, you're serious? She's not going to use half the stuff they teach in there, and you no. never None care of it. about trigonometry. The only triangle you were interested in was the one in my pants. <gasps> Mom, oh my god! Oh my god. You like writing poetry? Maybe do that. You're saying I should drop out of school and be a poet? Nope, nope, nope. I mean... That. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Live your best life. Fucking Sheila is so right unhinged. You can't keep being like this. You mean being who I am? I know you want to do whatever you want now, but I'm not sure the family can survive it. She really is like out of control chaos monster. Yeah. Like, girl, please. Wait. Dinner with daddy. <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry, did you want one? Oh, the way he ate that grilled cheese. It was you so know, crunchy. Was My home life was also a little challenging. How'd you deal? I collected baseball cards, painted pine cones. Sometimes I went into the woods and yelled at birds. I don't think she's into any of that. For Maybe therapist. the yelling at birds part. People. Then when I got older... What? <laughs> Oh. So now they're both like fully having like a midlife crisis. Yeah, all three of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a bike when I was 16 and never yelled at a bird again. Do you still have it? Yeah, I keep it in the storage unit. Oh my god, I want to see it. <gasps> he fucked up with that one. I used to bring your mom up here when we were in high school. Carved our initials in that picnic bench. Can mom still love? What? She's full of, of it. Can. Are you sure? Yes. That's a weird smile. I feel like she does because otherwise she should have eaten him up. I'm freaking out too. It's so yeah. weird. So fucking I've been weird. waiting for this. She organized our pasta by cooking times and wouldn't let me eat crackers in the living room. Tuesday, she strangled a rooster. Two weeks ago, she was making me vocab cards for the SATs, and now she doesn't care if I go to school anymore. I know. What the hell's happening? I know. <laughs> he has Did to tell die? her. Yeah. Did mom die? When mom died? Yeah, sweetie. Mom is dead. I love them so much. They're they're perfect. You even touched a margarita. <laughs> what is alcohol gonna do to her zombie stomach? Oh no. Ooh, no. Ugh. Look at him. The king of nothing. <laughs> yes, welcome to my land. I am a sex tourist traveling the world over. <laughs> oh, I am currently farting. Oh my god. Hi! You Douglas Bohr. <laughs> <laughs> I really love her too, even though she's married to that piece of shit. This is Helen. Prince Volnovac. I am sorry that things went awry this morning. Mm, you better Thank be. you. Apology accepted. Mm -hmm. I wasn't actually apologizing. You just said you were sorry. I'm sorry about the situation. Okay. Which you instigated. You should be grateful that I didn't suspend Abby. In fact, I still might. It all depends on what you say uh, next. That's Madame. retaliation. Fine. I'm sorry, you farting sex tourist. <gasps> Stinky boy. Tell Abby don't bother coming to school tomorrow. You don't bother coming to school tomorrow because you're going to be in Sheila's stomach. Yeah, he ain't going to school tomorrow. I actually don't remember. She no. is fucking reckless. Oh my god, yeah, there's no way that she's There's so many people either. here. Control <gasps> your instinct. Joel, hi, you're here. I need to tell you something. 
I have loved you since we carved our initials on that picnic bench. I've loved you for the 19 years we've been married, and I'll love you for however long we have together. Why am I getting emotional because over this zombie changed. love? Because they're so cute. This is real love. And they have such good chemistry, too. They're both from the same franchise. Mm. They both have, like, that goofy personality. Yeah. That's exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> but it's different types of goofy, so it doesn't feel like too much. Oh, my God. Girl, think of the cameras. Think of how delicious that. that gray hair is going to taste. <gasps> Salt and pepper. <laughs> no. Let's keep this simple. Abby's going through a really hard time right now, so you're not going to suspend her because if you do, I will make your life miserable. I am a realtor and I can destroy you. Mm -hmm. It'll all depend on what you say next. Tell her to have your hand. See her at school tomorrow. <gasps> Tell yourself. You have a lovely evening. We love a woman who gets shit done without oh, violence, by the way. Yeah. Didn't need it. All right. Let's go check out Eric's action. I need you to kill my back. Not that I'm complaining. He told me to be who I needed to be, and that's someone who doesn't want to lose her family. <laughs> Come on, honey, we're going to be late. Oh. Is that the same from the picture? Uh, probably, if he's running like that. Principal Novak, wait. Leave me alone. Are you Serbian? Leave me alone. Oh my Back god. I know it's Serbian. I saw it in my research. Let go. Do you speak Serbian? People are insane. Do you speak Serbian? No, but my grandmother does, and you better let me go because I live with her, and if I'm not home by eight, well, it's not a big deal because I'm a grown man and I can do whatever I want. But now I'm still I'm leaving. This is, you don't want to get him involved. No. I need to meet your grandmother. Go to fucking Craigslist, bro. Like, he's How's it going? dumb as fuck sometimes. He doesn't think things through. Remember that work opportunity I told you about last night? I closed the deal. Ooh, awesome. Oh. Big sale. Sale, no. No, the opportunity was to bone and I'm colleges. We've been flirting for weeks and you inspired me. Live your best life, right? Wow. Oh my Thank god. You. Good for her. Dan Why deserves to be cheated on. Yeah, he does. I'm oh, sorry. It's just three weekends in February. You can't just pick up and follow John Legend on tour. You don't do something like this without us talking about it. Hey, good news, Rick. Your Range Rover came in early. <gasps> Did you buy a new car? Maybe let's get to the house early. She so is he, changing lives. He really did want to just see the, the car. Yeah, yeah. Space. Well, I thought so that. Good, right? I, I kind of thought that. They can make their own decisions. <gasps> what did you tell him? Same thing oh, she told you, girl. He's so distractingly pretty. I can't handle it. It's the green eyes with the Spray fucking salt and pepper hair. Spray your goddamn ass! Get out of here. Uh, sons of bitches that take care of this whole neighborhood. Why are you what? in their backyard? Oh my god. <gasps> oh. They really should have been more careful. They should have taken a rake through the whole fucking backyard. Oh. They really just fucking flopped with that one. I don't know what else to say. Uh, they, like, Dan literally finding a finger in their yard. They should have scraped through the grass with it. A fucking comb. Yes, like at least a rake. Like that, it, he found it so fast. But like, why the fuck is he in their because, yard? Oh, he's so annoying. He's such a fucking nosy bitch. So annoying. And now we have to deal with him knowing. Well, next we have episode five: Man Eat Man. And you know, let's get to it. She was hungry. There's only one man I want to see being eaten. Okay, his name is Dan. Mm. Dan the man. Man eats Dan. We're not a fan. Dan's remains in the trash can. In the freezer. Back, back, back again. But that was that was Liv's arm, I think. I saw those freckles. Mm -hmm. Yep. <gasps> so not even. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. But is she gonna find out this way? This is not the way she needs to know. No. She just wants the bike. <gasps> How is his phone still alive? <laughs> Saving the head for last, I see. Cinematic parallels. Yeah. Speaking of flopping, like him trying he to do this right now. Brought the paintings instead of pictures. Hello, <gasps> I'm friends with your grandson. I know nothing about you, but I know about you. Not these prints. Oh. I need to know what it says. Please. Men eat men to live. This is story of village of Cossica. Men eat wife. 
mother is child dead eat life so what does this one mean <gasps> with a cure men will die wait there's a cure what is it who knows pictures come from very old book cure in book but book very rare do you have book do you have mona lisa <laughs> <gasps> oh my god <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm so I'm very bad about the tension between you and my wife the other day. I, I don't feel bad about the tension uh, empty box. from his nipples that are about to poke out his body and that is Andre, you nice boy. I nice boy. But I leave now. Real nice boy. Really nice. He should have waited until it was like a school day and he was going to school. Yeah. Once I looked up Posica, I found this. Glasses? It's another image from the same book our prince came from. <gasps> I think this one shows someone taking the cure. You seem a little manic, honey. Well, I feel, I feel like that's like his tenth cup of it's coffee. Exciting. There could Surely. be a cure. You could be eating pizza in a week. Don't you want to be cured? Of course I do. Although, I do like the way that I feel. Yeah, I kind of like her like this. She's so lively. Two hours a night. I get so much done. You eat people. I know. <laughs> it's just that I'm so much more confident now. It's just and like a minor, sexy. you know, so a minor thing. So, we need to find this book. There's this guy who claims to have it. Name's Anton. He's really big in the paranormal world. Here he is. No last name, no phone number, just an expired email address. We have that open house today. Maybe you should take the day off. Let me cover it. He doesn't really seem to be in the frame of mind to be selling a house. I can get Abby to help me. I guess it could give me some time to search for this Anton guy. No, don't do anything, okay? Just relax. I'm dead. It can wait until tomorrow. I mean, it can wait until tomorrow. There's still some of Gary in the freezer, so, right. you know. Hey! Oh, I finally found that blooper reel from Space... My mom's eating people. Spaceballs. Yeah. Not realizing your news was that. I went to the storage unit to look at my dad's old bike, and I found half a businessman in the freezer. Wow. I mean, I opened it expecting to find ice cream, and instead there was a dead guy with a look on his face like, I surprised him. I'm sorry. But your mom is undead. Also, though, like, no, you're talking so loud. With the door open! She can't just go knowing this without, like, saying something. Like, they just need to all fucking be on the same page and figure out what they're doing. And they're all on the same page about it. Because, like, this whole, like, secretive stuff, like, it's gonna get messy. Well, that it already is. ideal. However, this is a television show. So Girl, you know that's not gonna happen. I mean, she's gonna fucking... It, she's gonna tell them eventually, so, like, let's just hear Oh, it. yeah, well, she's gonna, she's gonna tell them that she saw that body and she was traumatized. We're all traumatized. Maybe your mom's trying to protect you from knowing that she's a vicious killing machine. That is what it is, but, like... Oh. She's not very Abby, secretive about it. Here, so. Jesus, mom. Oh, calm down. Everybody does it. Even your own mother. You guys want some waffles? I actually have to cover for my dad at an open house, so. Oh, what's wrong with Joel? <gasps> oh. Turn it off, Dan. I think she was talking that loud with the parents in the house? Yeah. Welcome to television, sweetie. Girl. Like, so shut you two up. were alone in your room with the door closed? Nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. You're you. And your wife is out fucking other random dudes, yeah, so... we love that for Good her. for you, Mom. I'm gonna go next door and talk to Joel about something. Oh, God, not the ants again. No, not the ants. Let's get rid of him. I'm tired of him. Gentlemen. Whoa! Hey, what the hell? You can't just walk in my house. <laughs> Marijuana and nice, yes! I smoke you with my black love every sexy time. He's one of those guys who thinks he what fits in with people and he doesn't at all. I've never hated someone more in my entire life. This is the least funny man I've ever met in my life, truly. Because that guy ruins the vibe. You know, Abby was just over. Her and Eric could become good friends. Yeah. And you and Rick are good friends. Yeah. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, maybe you don't say. There's no reason. Similar interest. Maybe you should look internally. Will you be my friend? No. Uh, no. I think you should reconsider. Is he going to fucking blackmail him to be his friend? No. Because if you're not gonna be my friend, then you're fucked. He's just carrying it around? Wow. Literally a fucking loser freak. Are you making cookies? No, it's vanilla extract and essential oil. It's an old realtor trick. But this is a lie. It's not a lie. It's a trick. What's the difference? <laughs> one is a sin and one pays for your Spotify. What's your problem? I wanted an honest cookie, mom, and you're giving me a nose full of hypocrisy. Yeah, those Spotify ads are killer. I was gonna say, she's doing a little much, but I now see that this is just her resenting her for a bigger, a bigger thing. Yeah. I know the finger belongs to Gary West. I ran the print. And I know that Lisa saw Gary dancing with your wife at the club, grinding her pelvis into a fine mist, and then Gary disappeared. Fuck! Such a drag. Are you gonna arrest me or what? Of course not, buddy. But hey, now that we are friends, 
I do need a favor. I'm gonna be out of town for a few days, kind of a hunting slash alibi trip. Alibi? Yeah. While I'm gone, I'm gonna need you to kill someone for me. What? I said, while I'm gone, I'm gonna need you to kill someone for me. I heard you, Dan. I just wow. said what because I was startled. I'm sorry I startled you. Still gonna need you to kill someone for me. Wow, so he is a piece of shit. Yeah, but now it keeps her fed, keeps him happy, keeps me irritated. We're fucked with clients. Bro, duh. Have you been upstairs to check out the multi-directional spray shower system? Yeah. Well, get up there. Oh my god. Upstairs. Right up there. there he go. stresses me out. Dan found one of Gary's fingers in our backyard. Oh my god. He thinks you and Gary were having an affair and I found out and killed him. So Dan assumes you killed Gary. That's sexist. It is yeah, sexist. We need to do something about right that. The she deserves her credit. Also, they can hear you, I promise. So they don't give a fuck anymore. It's 401. Open house is over. Let's go home. Hopefully there'll be real cookies there. She deserves real cookies. She's not gonna let this go. No. Would you mind running out and grabbing that sign for us? <laughs> Maybe we can make this work for us. I will need to eat and this is a bad guy. I don't want to be Dan's hired assassin. I'm just settling into being a real estate broker who kills people. And the only thing I like about that job is I get to be my own boss. It's baby steps, you know? Hi. It's moving a little too fast Thank for him. You, sweetheart. What's going on? We're talking about what to get for dinner. Your dad wants chicken. I want beef. <laughs> oh my goodness. However, will it resolve? <laughs> Would you mind getting that one for us too? Yes. Oh, I see. That wasn't a real question. Abby's been acting a little weird lately. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. No, but it's been a busy day. I went to the gym. I misplaced my cell phone. Oh, and then Dan asked me to murder a murderer. He should feel relieved, I honestly. Sure. I know you don't want to go with me when I go to shop for dinner, so I'll go by myself. I don't like this shopping excursion you're proposing, but I can certainly handle it, so I will help you. Well, I love you being my shopping partner, so thank you. Your wedding vows must have been awesome. <laughs> Abby's so great. Liv is so great. I can't do it anymore. I can't just not say anything to my parents when I know they're lying right to my face. I just want to say stop lying. I know that beef you're shopping for probably wants more underwear. It's tough. Uh, if you love someone, <laughs> you have to be completely and totally honest with them. Oh, like, no. matter no. what. Uh -huh. I'm just going to tell them I... <gasps> oh, Eric, uh, I'm... I'm sorry. It's okay. Not it's the okay. vibe, bro. Yeah, cool. Hey, sorry if I embarrass you by like thinking you actually wanted to kiss me. Oh, uh, me embarrassed, please. Right, of course. Bye, Eric. All right, bye bye now. Loki Hayes, arson, <gasps> arson, homicide, homicide, impersonating a forest ranger. Dan says he's gonna be at his apartment tonight after 11. So how are we gonna get the body from his apartment back to our freezer? Joel has it sorted out. There's going to be a lot of blood. We need to wrap him up in That's something hard. that doesn't leave him. We're going to have to get him to the car in something that doesn't look suspicious. Merry Christmas. Is that everything? Do we bring a weapon? I'm, I'm going to say weapon. yes, but... Somebody's cocky. I have the element of surprise. No one expects a tiny realtor lady to jump on their back and rip out their throat. Besides, there's something I enjoy about the kill. Yeah, I would still It's like a, a rush. It feels like I'm giving my body something it needs in an intense and powerful way. Oh She's an animal. She is so empowered by all this. I That's love that actual. for her. We should go. Yeah, bring a weapon. He could be, like, so dangerous. I mean, he obviously is so dangerous, but, you know. <gasps> Sir. Like, he has a huge knife just chilling. I've never understood in movies why they do that. Like, you don't care about your coffee table? Hi! Loki Hayes? Fuck you all. This is your lucky day! Were you aware that your building was recently purchased by Southern California's largest condominium developer? We've been tasked by that very developer to offer you a large cash settlement to forgo your current lease. Oh my god! Can we crack the champagne? <laughs> my cousin in Queens had the same shit happen to her. She got so much cash, she don't even talk to my family no more. Yeah, I want that. You're certainly not going to be talking to anyone anymore. You got one part, right? Grab some glasses. Champagne flutes, if you have them. Flutes? I think I may. I love him. He's so funny. They really subvert your expectations. I got a snake in my room. That's neat. I may not have flutes. Just taste better than fancy glass. They really should practice this at home and get. They need a groove, you know. 
the start, nigga. You better work quick. <laughs> Bro. Girl. Yeah, they really have got to figure this out. There is your security deposit. Yeah, like they needed a weapon, uh, a gun, preferably. <gasps> oh, it doesn't matter though, because she's dead. Uh, Joel's not. Residential, but commercial on request. <laughs> oh! She's a seal turn. Girl. <gasps> He is useless, I'm sorry. He's He hasn't been useless this whole time, but in this moment, just, Joel, go home, baby. She's really flopping with this too, like, girl. Well, he's so big. I know, but she had the chance and she missed it. <gasps> what? Well, he saw our faces, so we're gonna have to go after him. Yeah, you can't go back to Dan and be like, didn't get him. I mean, I don't know if I did, his jeans were really thick, but if I did bite him, Will he become like me? We don't know how this spreads. I never got bitten. Did I skin at my teeth? <gasps> Ew. I got a knife in case something went wrong, and it did. I had him. I just, I couldn't do it. He's a good person. Oh, honey, it's He's okay. too nice. We have a couple days till he gets back from his hunting slash alibi trip. I'm almost sure I didn't bite him. We're gonna be fine. Totally. Mostly. Honey, is my briefcase in the kitchen? Yeah, it's right. Oh my god, The girl. bloody briefcase. They need to be paying more attention to detail if they're going to be doing this. Yeah. I hope we didn't wake you last night when we got home. The movie ran longer than we thought. Girl. Is everything okay, Just Abby? Is there something you want to talk about? No. Everything's great. I'm begging her to just fucking say it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Not her. No cleaning up her mother's mess. She needs to be like, Mom, hello. You fucked up again. Housekeeping. Lady, you better run. Housekeeping, I clean. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck. So he did get it. Yeah, she didn't. I come back. Oh, my God. What did they use as the vomit? Like, I don't looks like want to know. Honey looks mustard. like honey mustard. I was going to say that. <gasps> Why? Oh, my God. How did she get it? What is going on here? I'm fucking shook. I did not, I did not think that was actually gonna happen. Yeah, um, it's... <laughs> it's gonna take over the damn city. They really fucked up there. Wow. It's just like flop after flop with them. Like, it's, I love them, but it's hard to stand. It is hard to stand Joel and Sheila when they keep making so many fucking mistakes. I stand them, but I just need them to clean up their act. They are so fucking messy, but wouldn't we be? Not that messy. I wouldn't be leaving fucking blood on my briefcase, bitch. That's Period. True. Yeah, I'm a little OCD for that. But you know what? What a great five episodes. Yes. There was so much about this series that I did not remember. I felt like I was just like waiting on the edge of a cliff for something to happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love it. It's so fun. I'm so happy you're watching. I know. I'm having the best time. I literally just love it. And these episodes fly by. No, like, it feels so like nothing. Fast. Yeah. So, oh my God. I just, like, I'm so excited oh. to. I'm like, I want to binge the whole show tonight. Like, well, all three seasons. Let's go. Oh my God. Period. Well, we are binging the whole season tonight, but this will be broken up into two videos episodes one through five. And we're about to react to episodes six through ten. We're so excited. But down in the comments, let's talk Santa Clarita Diet. We are obsessed. We want to know your thoughts. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Petty Pumpkins and our Patreon. Do also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins because we want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay chomping. <laughs> Yum. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys.